What's up, skate fam? Welcome back to D Skates. I'm your host, David Lolliette. In this episode, I'm going to unbox and mount a set of Roll Line Killer steel plates to my Rydell Solaris boots. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you can get notified when I make new skating content. And real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to a man widely known as the Quad Father, Kev Hopgood. Kev was very gracious in meeting me on a video call to give an in-depth, very long lecture on how to properly mount roller skates. For any beginner who has ever attempted this, it's a really scary task and no one wants to start drilling a high dollar pair of boots without knowing what they're doing first. I've been sworn to secrecy over some of the details, but I can say the mount Kev taught me turns out to be much cleaner and much more true to center than the traditional mount you see on roller skates from the factory. For those of you who are familiar with my older review of the Solaris, you may have noticed that I don't use them very much anymore. The reason being that when I got these skates, something felt off about them and I thought I would adjust, but after months and months of using them, I could never get them to feel stable like my previous quad skates and it was difficult to exercise my agility in them like my normal dance skates I use. Long story short, they were mounted farther back than I like, and the kingpin angle on the Powerdyne reactors that came on them was 10 degrees, where I typically prefer my other 16 degree plates. So after meditating on whether or not to sell them and move on, I decided to take the plunge and finally buy a set of roll line plates, which I've always wanted, and learn to mount them exactly where I wanted so I don't have to rely on a shop to make my skates anymore. The very first thing I notice after opening them is this little blue bag with Roll Line's logo on it. Inside is a pretty dynamic set of tools. We've got a pair of wrenches for the nuts on the wheels and trucks, three metric open-ended wrenches, 16, 13, and 6 millimeters, which are likely for the stock mounting hardware that I did not use, and two Allen wrenches, 4 and 5 millimeters, for the toe stop and kingpin lock bolts. There are also these well-made, chunky roll line toe stops with metric threads. I don't use toe stops, but if you do, I'm sure they'll be great for you as they feel really well made. As you can see, these plates are beautiful. The kingpins are set at 18 degrees in the front and 16 degrees in the back, which is supposed to allow more agility in the ball of the foot and more stability in the heel. They have a nice clean finish and feel very sturdy. In my purchase research, I learned you can buy them with 7mm and 8mm steel axles, which is why it's called the Killer Steel, by the way. Since everything in my skate closet is designed for 608 bearings, I decided to keep it uniform and go with the 8mm axles. The Killer Steel plate is made in Italy, CNC machined from a solid block of 7075 aluminum. This aluminum uses zinc as the primary compound, unlike the more common 6061, which uses high amounts of silicone. This makes it 150% stronger than typical aluminum plates you find on roller skates these days. Roll Line also offers the killer in titanium, but given that the cost is nearly doubled and the aluminum model is already about 500 US dollars, I figured I would be perfectly happy with these. Also, I should note how impressive all the nuts on these plates look, and the tolerance of every removable part is impeccably accurate. Now that you've seen them, let's get them mounted up. As I mentioned, I was really nervous about drilling my boots, so I constantly went back to my notes from the Quadfather's lecture and quadruple checked every single measurement. My girlfriend's dad gifted me a drill press and was gracious enough to give me free reign of his shop which made my life a whole lot easier during this process. After obsessively checking to make sure I had everything the way I wanted, I grabbed some wood and drilled a few practice holes to get a feel of how the press worked.
Just look at these things. I'm beside myself at how clean they look. It almost made me upset that I had to bore out some of the mount holes to get the screws I used to fit, but it was worth it to have larger screws that will provide better power transfer. Such is the price you pay to make something exactly like you want it. Once I got the first boot completed, I tested it out and compared the feel to my other jam skates to see how the two weigh in. The comparison is basically non-existent. Between the difference in the mount itself and the awesome feel of the killer plate, I can tell instantly that I've built a far superior skate. All my work is starting to pay off. So I go back to the press and measure my other boot to make the second mount match up. Once completed, it was time to test them out. I didn't even put the laces in them and they already felt amazing. In over 30 years of roller skating, I don't think I've ever used a setup that felt quite this good. The slightly shorter sport mount really fits my style well. If you're looking at getting a set of high-end plates, I personally recommend doing a lot of research on different mounts to decide which you think is best. As I learned from this experience, I do not like the traditional mount at all. It really clips away a lot of my style and does not feel as stable for dance as the sport mount. After some time, I plan to eventually do a comprehensive review of the Solaris again with the killer plates and give my input on what it's like now that I have much more experience with it and have been able to customize it myself. Once again, huge thanks to Kev Hobgood for teaching me this awesome mount. It's much cleaner than the traditional mount that skate manufacturers have used for decades, and now I will never have to pay a shop to mount my skates again. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so other skaters can see it and enjoy it as well. And make sure you're subscribed to D's Skates to get notified when I make new skating content. Thanks for joining me today for this fun project, and I will see you the next time I lace up.